Hey guys, welcome to our channel Coders Arcade. This is Ashank David and in today's video, we are going to talk about another interview question, which is an um, important interview question related to data structures. And in this case, you're going to deal with uh, linked list. And the question is remove duplicates from an unsorted linked list. You have been given an unsorted linked list of n nodes. Now your task is to go through the linked list and remove all the duplicates data from the linked list. Whenever you find the data repeated for the second time, you should keep its first occurrence only and the rest of the repeated elements have to be deleted. You can use object oriented approach for its implementation. The list you will be given n value either from the user or you can fix whichever which will be the length of the linked list. For example, they have taken n equals to 6, which is the size. And here they have given the array. So the linked list is going to be here. So n value is, is what? You'll be given n value either from the user. What is this? Huh. And you, or you can fix it with the length of the linked list. Okay, so length of the linked list it is. And uh, here, um, linked list before removing the duplicates is this. For example, this is that linked list. And after removing the duplicates, it will be like this. So duplicates like again uh, 3, then 8, all of those will be removed and this is going to work. So let's go ahead and watch. Let's go ahead and see the problem statement. So this is the code for it. And uh, here we have used the unordered set because of course we need to the we need to find the unique elements out of it and then you need to do with it. So first of all, we have created the class called as node and inside the node we have just implemented the object oriented way of implementing the node. This is the constructor. You can see this constructor where the data is set to the val and the next pointer is pointing towards null PTR so that it doesn't point towards any random location and doesn't become a while pointer. Then they have implemented the class called as linked list and inside this we have created the head where again the constructor is created for the head which is pointing towards the null which is the constructor for this linked list class and they have initialized the head to null pointer in the constructor. Now when we are talking about this uh, they have written the implementation of the append uh, a link list so we don't have to worry about this this code will be given to you when it is going to be a uh, in the question okay this is for the append and display is also there what main thing is we need to understand about this remove duplicate function in the main function if we see this is the length of the link list we have given and this is the link list this is the array that we have been given so first we need to convert this array into the link list and we have created the link list object and one by one using the for loop uh, using the value of n as the size we are appending the array into the link list and with this help of this we are just printing the linked list after the append function has been appending the linked list into one linked list we are displaying that and then we are calling the remove duplicate function which we are going to discuss right now and then again displaying the uh, linked list after removing the duplicates now in this case if we go back to the remove duplicates function you see when the head is not present then they have checked for this condition where if the head is not even present then you will just return and do nothing there and then come out of the program but let's say if you have if you if you have the head in order to do that you will be creating this unordered set um, unique values object of that unordered set that you have imported up there using the file inclusion preprocessor directive uh, hash include and then we are creating the pointer for the current so we are creating a current pointer which is starting from the head and the previous pointer which is pointing towards the null ptr now we will search for the current pointer so wherever the uh, wherever it is so this is unique values this is the function for this is the object that we have created using the unordered list and we are using the find function of the unordered list that we have imported up there and we are trying to find the data and if it is not not equals to the unique values then duplicates will be found and 
will remove the current node so what it is going to do is it is going to run again and again and it is going to traverse through it so previous of next and equals to current of next it will just duplicate uh, the, the previous of next the previous nodes next will be pointing towards the current's next and the current will be removed so delete current after that and the current will be equals to the previous next so that the linked list is connected backwards if no duplicates are found then you will just insert the current data so no uh, so i will i will add will add to the set and then we'll move forward so in this case um, we are just calling that object unique values object which we have created above there for the unordered set and then we are using this insert function in order to uh, put the data into it and then we are connecting the previous to the current and the current to the current of next this is how it is going to work so now this is a quick explanation of the remove duplicates in the next video we are going to talk about in depth uh, understanding about how the same program works in different scenarios so when i run this code you see that let's run this code and see how it is working so the linked list is already given here and we have appended it so the linked list is appended here and at last what happens is after removing the duplicates when this duplicate remove duplicate function is called what happens is all the duplicates are removed and it is printing by saying the display function this is how this is gonna do so i hope so that you have understood this video very well if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section below and this is a very quick introduction to this con this type of concept in the next video we're going to discuss in more depth and detail about this and uh, yeah we will talk about this in the next video well this is ashwang david signing off if you haven't watched our other videos yet i would like to ask you to like share and subscribe to our channel code is rk and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you won't miss any future updates and that's all for this video guys thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next one happy learning